step-by-step -step tutorial, maximizing your bedroom storage. Step 1, identifying your clutter problems. It's important to be sure about exactly which problems you wish to solve before you rush to the shops and start buying. We would always recommend having a good sort through and figuring out exactly what you can not throw away before you get started. You may even find that you don't need anything new. If you do those, think about what is filling out of your current options. Is it bulky items such as blankets, towels or space duvets? Is it clothes or shoes? Or is it perhaps things like books, jewelry or perfume? Do you need small bedroom storage ideas or do you have a lot of space? There will be different bedroom storage solutions for all these problems, so it's important that you choose something fit for purpose. Step 2. Considering your budget, time and money. Once you know what you need, it's time to think about how much you can commit to the project, in terms of both time and money. It's all very well scouring the internet for DIY solutions, but if you don't actually have time to complete the project, you'll just end up with a half-finished project that only adds to the clutter. However, if you don't have the money or the inclination to buy an entirely new bed so that you can enjoy the benefits of a lift-up mattress, don't despair. All is not lost. In terms of under-the-bed storage, some cheap lidded plastic boxes will do the job just as well as some fancy bedroom drawers set. If you are looking for a bedroom trunk, why not ring round some charity shops? You can get a well-loved and sturdy piece for a fraction of the price of a new item. However, if you are redoing your bedroom and fancy some bespoke bedroom storage, why not go for it? Whatever you choose, it is vital that you get something that you can live with long-term. Step 3. Reorganizing It is worth setting aside a set period of time to completely reorganize your bedroom storage. Have to clear out and a new items before your reorganization time. Plan what you want to do. This is particularly important if you are going shopping. We all know how easy it is to get distracted when you are wandering around a furniture shop. Know in advance where you want to put everything and how you intend it to look at the end. Leave some time at the end to give the room a quick clean. Dust-free surfaces and a vacuumed carpet will really enhance the changes you have made and add to the tremendous sense of achievement. Step 4. Maintaining the comp. So, you've invested in some clever bedroom storage. Your shoes are in the tidy rack and your blankets are folded and sorted by color and fabric. But how are you going to maintain this organization? It only takes one bad day for you to dump your clothes on the floor and then suddenly you're back where you started. The most important thing is for the things you use a lot to be easily accessible. That doesn't just mean removing them, but also putting them back. If you have a piece of jewelry you always wear, it will quickly become irritating to have to take out several items to get at it and to put it away. Similarly, make the storage solution easy. A great example of this is a washing basket you can just throw things into rather than lifting the lid. It sounds like a small thing, but anything you can do to make maintaining your lovely tidy bedroom will help you out.